Hey guys, this is David Wunderlich, and I've been looking over Tennessee's two games against FBS opponents, West Virginia and Utah, to kind of get an idea of where the Volunteers are at before their game against Florida. One thing I've noticed is that Tennessee has gotten its defense into trouble a couple times because the opposing offense has been able to hit them around the edge when there's no one there to account for the edge. So here is a play that West Virginia has in the red zone. It's in the third quarter. West Virginia has two tight ends over here on its left side. Tennessee has its four down linemen, and it has two linebackers over here that are going to account for those two tight ends. So the tight ends will come out and do pass patterns, and the linebackers are going to stay with those tight ends. Now while they do that, the safety is also going to come up and help out with those tight ends, which means there's going to be absolutely nobody over in this area. And so what the Mountaineers are gonna do is just slip the running back out over here on a wheel route, and Will Greer will hit him for an easy touchdown. So if we go forward a little bit, let's watch those tight ends. There they go up the field, kind of inside a little bit. And now watch the running back. He just slides out. There's absolutely no one over there. As soon as he turns his head to receive the pass, Will Greer throws it, and he gets to just walk into the end zone untouched. So here's what it looks like in real time. It doesn't get much easier than that. Tennessee did not have anybody over there respecting the wheel route, and West Virginia hit them on the wheel route. Here comes a play from the Tennessee game against UTEP. This is late in the first quarter, and UTEP is not a very good team. Tennessee ended up shutting them out in this game, but UTEP was able to get a couple of decent plays, and this is one of them. So you see they've got two guys lined up over here to the quarterback's right, and accordingly, Tennessee has both of its linebackers over here lined up against those guys. So if you just look at this, you can probably figure out what's coming. There's a ton of green grass over here and absolutely nobody is accounting for it. This guy will end up being a lead blocker this way and the running back is just gonna go directly around the edge because UTEP is able to block this edge and it's going to go for a nice big gain of almost 20 yards. So if we do this in slow motion, we've got our lead blocker coming, Running back goes around the edge because UTEP has sealed it over here. Very good job. You've got another lineman over here who's able to maintain this corridor for the running back to go through. And there he goes. He gets about an 18 yard gain. So let's back this up. Here's what it looks like in real time. So these are two different plays, one is a pass, one is a run, but you can believe that Dan Mullen and his staff have seen these and have realized that it's possible to use formations to get the Tennessee defense in trouble because they haven't accounted for the entire field. I don't know what's going to come on Saturday when Florida plays Tennessee, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Florida try to use some of these similar kind of plays to get open space for their skill position players.